Hello, my name is Mr Newbury and I'm the subject leader of health and nutrition here at Tonner Rebel Community School. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to talk you through the Level 3 Health Social Care Principles and Context course that is on offer here at the Tonner Rebel Sixth Form Centre of Excellence. The Level 3 in Health and Social Care Principles and Context is delivered by both myself and Mrs Tranter, who can be seen on the slide. And it's delivered in a state of the art listed building with access to Google Chromebooks for every single pupil in our care. The level three certificate and diploma in health and social care principles and context qualifications are suitable if you are interested in learning more about the health and social care sectors. The qualifications provide a suitable progression route if you have studied level two qualifications within the health, social care and childcare suite including Level 2 Health and Social Care, Principles and Context, as well as GCSE Health, Social and Child Care. However, they are also suitable if you have not previously studied Health and Social Care, but are capable of Level 3 study. The qualifications we offer enable you to develop and demonstrate skills and understanding within the context of Health and Social Care services. The knowledge and understanding and skills you are required to achieve within these qualifications build on the content of the Level 2 Health and Social Care qualification. Here at our Sixth Form Centre of Excellence, we offer the Certificate in Health and Social Care, which consists of three mandatory units. We cover one unit during our first year of study in Year 12, and then we follow up with two units in Year 13. The unit we cover in Year 12, as you can see there, is the Unit 2 which is the factors affecting individuals' growth and development across the lifespan and how this impacts on outcomes, care and support needs. During this unit, you will gain knowledge and understanding of the factors that affect an individual's growth and development across the lifespan and the effects that this can have on their personal wellbeing outcomes and care support needs. It's in this unit where there's an examination, so pupils will sit a, an examination within Unit 2. But if pupils are successful in their internal exam in Year 12, then there is only coursework elements left to complete in Year 13. However, should they wish to resit their external exam from Year 12, learners are afforded that option. We then move on to Year 13, and that would be Unit 1 and Unit 3, as you can see there on the slide. And these are the two elements of coursework, which are also known as non-examination assessments. Unit three is in regard to promoting the rights of individuals across the lifespan. And in this unit, they will gain knowledge and understanding of the rights of individuals and the barriers to participation they may face and how these are challenged to improve to receive access to health and wellbeing services. The final piece of non-examined assessment is through unit one, which can be seen at the top of the screen principles of care, safe practice within an outcome focused, person centred care. And it's in this unit, our learners will gain knowledge and understanding of the professional responsibilities, roles and accountabilities of health and social care workers within the sector. They learn about legislation, national policies, codes of conduct and professional services and responsibilities that health and social care workers need to be aware of within their roles. They also gain knowledge of ethical approaches when providing outcome focused care. To summarise, this really is a fantastic course. It provides a coherent and, and satisfying and a worthwhile course of study, even if you don't progress to further study in this subject. Although a lot of our students do go on to study health and social care at undergraduate level, or there are options then for this qualification to lead into um, suitable routes such as apprenticeships. Um, this is a great foundation for those who are considering courses within the health and social care sector. And it's an ideal route for those who wish to have a career within the NHS, such as midwifery, home care and social work, to name but a few. Should you have any further questions about this course or the information I've shared with you um, via this uh, live link, then can you please uh, contact us on the two email addresses there um, on the screen. Thank you.